And our next talk is uh, about a very hot topic in digital psychiatry, which is serious games. There are very many of this project going on, and we will see this uh, very, very much in, uh, in the future. And I'm really happy that Dr. Bonnet uh, is today with us. She is part of uh, uh, an excellence network in France, Deficience. And uh, uh, today she will present on uh, this very interesting project, Defi Game, which is specifically dedicated to neurodevelopmental disorder. Please, Cassandra. Thank you very much, Umberto. Good afternoon, everyone. So I'm Kasson Bonnet. I'm the project manager of the Excellency uh, Network in France of um, uh, more than 100 uh, medical teams, experts in rare neurodevelopmental diseases. And I'm here to present you DefiGame, an innovative e-learning training tool for the clinical management of NDDs and mostly rare NDDs. But first, um, let me give you some definition. Uh, we define a rare disease as a disease that will affect uh, fewer than one person out in 2,000 people. This represents um, around 7,000 distinct rare diseases. 80% are of genetic origin and 85% don't have any associative creative treatment. 75% of rare diseases affect children, and 70% have their onset during childhood. They are mainly chronic diseases, and in 50% cases, they result in motor, intellectual, or sensory deficits. This represents a major public health challenge, especially in Europe, uh, as 30 million people are living today with a rare disease in 48 countries. Among the rare diseases, we count rare neurodevelopment, neurodevelopmental diseases. I know that do not give you new definitions on entities. Uh, they are gathered in five different groups, uh, non-exclusive groups, and you can count intellectual disabilities in it. And uh, usually, they get uh, very complex because they are associated with um, comorbidities and, and, and other pathologies such as epilepsies or all the um, psychiatric um, pathologies that were described in the previous presentation. In Europe, we consider that 110 million people um, are affected by an NDD, and if we extrapolate the numbers from France, we can consider that 2.5% of neurodevelopmental disorders are due to a rare cause. Um, the issue with rare um, entities is that they are unknown by the primary caregivers. Experts uh, usually receive many requests for consultations that actually could have been initiated by primary caregivers. And uh, because of a lack of information, a lack of knowledge, a lack of coordination, patients and their families are just um, facing more and more complex situations, uh, facing diagnostic wandering without any early support for their children. For a child with unusual development, a delay in treatment uh, can result in a loss of opportunity, even for pathologists with no curative treatment. Um, the attending physician, the general practitioner, has a major role to play in the early detection of signs of unusual development, and they must be equipped to take on board existing recommendations for a good practice. So the question is, how can we support the skills development of primary caregivers and healthcare professionals whose role is to coordinate and support this specific care pathway? By offering um, learning situations similar to those encountered in professional practice, um, the serious game is actually a powerful training tool. Um, this is how Defi Game was born, uh, to train caregivers on how uh, seeking a diagnosis, ensuring as such the early treatment of entities, and supporting the family during and after disclosure of a diagnosis of a rare and severe disease. To create this game, we have gathered and mobilized uh, during the COVID epidemic a large team of medical experts, pediatric neurologists, sci child psychiatrists, um, adult psychiatrists, geneticists, um, our team, but also uh, very different partners and specifically, specifically three um, patient associations to create um, this uh, series game. Diffie game for who? Actually, general practitioners and pediatricians in practice or in training are the main target for a Diffie game, as they are in the front line 
for identification, and they are the key to coordinate a care path. However, psychiatrists, speech therapists, um, teachers, psychometricists, and any other professional who are actually involved in the healthcare pathway of patients with NDD um, can uh, be uh, very, and they can find a very uh, good material to enrich their knowledge with uh, DefiGame. The main learning objectives of DefiGame um, are to put the learner in situations where they would think of a rare disease facing an NDD. They will understand the, the challenges of early interventions and etiological diagnosis. They will discover this pre the prescription way of care, and they will announce a diagnosis and see how this will impact the family. DefiGame is based on computer technologies that will combine uh, serious objectives with the playful means inspired by video game. Through interactive clinical cases, the learner is immersed in the situations proposed by the technology. With DefiGame, as a GP, you will test different strategies to answer the main questions that you could have um, when you're facing a potential entity through four game situations, retracing the life of four patients um, with, uh, from the first signs of in childhood to adulthood. The scenario will help the learner gain more in-depth knowledge on entities and understand the role of the GP in coordinating the process. All the situations are based on real facts, so any resemblance with real life would not be fortuitous. The situations provide an opportunity to familiarize the learner with concrete tools, such as forms to detect uh, signs of unusual de development in children under seven years of age, the MCHAT questionnaire for identifying signs of suspected um, ASD, communication aids in easy to read, um, pain assessment grades for nonverbal patients, best practice guides, and any recommendations. You will also find a complimentary library of reference documents that is uh, updated annually. And at the end of each scenario, the learner will get news from the patients, providing additional insight, backed up by functional assessments, reports, and key points to remember. The serious game, Diffy Game, is mixing didactic faces with action or experimentation faces that the, and the learning path is scripted in such a way that each, at each stage, the learner will receive feedback on his or her choices and the consequences of those choices. This game environment um, encourages the player to learn and progress in very complementary ways. You can read, you discover information, uh, you have dialogues with the patients, and you are making choices without any possibility to go back instead if you are starting the game over, as it would happen in real life. So now, four years later, what's next for Diffie Game? This, this, this series game was created by two players with the common aim to improve access to care for rare entities, Deficience and Itaca. So Deficience is a national health network in France dedicated, dedicated to neurodevelopmental rare disease in, diseases. We are gathering um, 106 uh, hospitals and healthcare centers, um, very specific uh, medical teams and pluridisciplinary medical teams um, with the aim to improve the healthcare pathway for people with uh, neurodevelopmental rare diseases. Um, by gathering this network, we are improving access to diagnosis and care for people. Um, we are training and informing all publics on rare neurodevelopmental diseases and their medical and non-medical care. And we are trying to promote and coordinate research. Itaca is actually deficient, but at the European level. Um, it's a patient-centered network of 70 medical teams in 25 uh, European countries where you can share expertise, experience, and resources. Um, they will facilitate discussion. You can review a patient diagnosis and treatments with the ERN members, um, and they will develop um, various guidelines at the European level. So do not hesitate to visit their website, renitaka.eu, and our website, but it's for French speaker mainly, Deficience. So if you are an English speaker, do not hesitate to go on Itaca. Our perspective, we have three um, main uh, objectives. First, being known by a majority of professionals to improve continuous training, by being present everywhere you can, so you can actually uh, know that DefiCam uh, does exist, and by rely relying on word of mouth. Our second objective is uh, that DefiCam is being used 
um, and specific, specifically in educational programs. We are trying to be implemented in learning management systems in universities, uh, and we really would like to be a reference for continuous training. And our third um, objective is to be a reference. Uh, we would like to improve the library um, with English recommendations and documentations, and why not improving the scenario by adding other scenarios, other diseases, other situations. Thank you very much for your attention, and now let's play. Mm -hmm.